Okay, for question number 10, we are going to solve this quadratic equation. 2x squared minus 7 is equal to 6x. Notice that we have x to the second power, that's the highest power of x in this equation. And to deal with the quadratic equation, we shall first make one side equal to 0, and then try to factor the other. If it's not factorable, we will just use the quadratic formula for this. So we can also use uh, the completing square technique for this as well. Okay, for question, question number 10. Question number 10. Question number 10. Question number 10. Question, question number 10. We have this equation. 2x squared minus 7 is equal to 6x. This is the quadratic equation because we have x to the second power being the highest power of x in this equation. And the way to deal with this is that let's make one side equal to 0 first and try to factor the other. If it's not factorable, we'll use the quadratic formula or maybe we can also do it with the completing the square. We see we have the 6x on the right hand side. Let's begin by minus 6x on both sides. This way, the 6x and the negative 6x cancel out to be 0. And I will get 2x squared minus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. So let's make one side equal to 0, which we did. And now we should try to factor this one out. But unfortunately, um, we can use all the combinations that we have. This is not factorable. This right here is not factorable. If that's the situation, we can just go ahead and use the powerful uh, quadratic formula for this. And if you would like, you can also do it with completing a square. Maybe I'll just do that in the next video. In order for us to use the quadratic formula, we need to know what it is. Let me put down a note right here. One sec. For the quadratic formula. You must have the equation in the standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. If that's the equation that you're working with, x will be negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. These are all inside of the square root, and all that it is, all that it's all over 2a. Okay? And this is the famous quadratic formula. And that's why we should always try to make one side equal to zero. Factor it. If it's not factorable, we have the equation in the standard form already. We should just now identify what's the value of a, b, and c. And we can use that formula to help us solve it. So a is a number in front of the x squared. We have 2. a is equal to 2. And notice that b we have is negative 6. b is equal to negative 6. And c is negative 7, just like that. And now, know that formula, we are going to join all the numbers into the formula and work out the calculations. x will be negative b. When I see a variable, let me open the parentheses. And then the value of b in this case is negative 6. I will put negative 6 into these parentheses. So I have negative negative 6. I will just set this up first. Continue with it, plus or minus, square root. Once again, I see the b square, so I will open the parentheses. I will draw in negative 6 into these parentheses. Negative 6 inside the parentheses, square, minus 4 times a. So open the parentheses, a is equal to 2. And one more, I have to multiply by c. So parentheses and make the square root longer. C is negative 7. And everything on the top, all over 2 times a on the bottom, which is 2 times a is 2. 2 times 2 on the bottom, just like that. And this is just my setup. Now we are going to just finish all the computations, and that will be it. We see we have a negative negative 6. That turns out to be a positive 6. The 6 
and we have plus or minus square root of all that. And the way that I like to work this out is let's just do this on the side. I use a scratch paper so that I can just focus on the inside. Let me just look at what do we get for the inside of the square root. I'm looking at this as negative 6 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 7. So we have negative 6 times negative 6, we get positive 36. And to work this out, the way that I like to do it is, let's multiply the numbers. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 7 is 56. So I worked out the numbers first, and then I see that I have a negative times another negative turns out to be positive. I'm going to add 36 plus 56, so I get 92. That will be the inside, inside of this square root. So I can just plug in 92 inside here. Okay, and then we'll divide by 2 times 2, which is 4. And make sure that this, square, uh, this fraction bar is long for both of the things on the top. Okay, it's long enough for the both of the things on the top. 6 plus or minus square root of 92 all over 4. So far, so good, like this. But the next step is that we should look at uh, square root of 90, 92 to see if we can any if, to see if we can do anything to simplify to reduce this uh, square root. So once again, I'll do that on the side. Square root of 92. Okay. I'll come back here so that you guys can see me in the video. And the way to deal with um, square root of 92 is think about a number. Okay, think about a perfect square. Now we'll go into 92. And 4 works. Notice that 4 times 92, sorry, 4 times 23 is equal to 92. This is the same as saying square root of 4 times uh, 23. Okay. And this 4 is of the square root. If I take square root of that 4, that will be a regular 2. And square root of 23 stays the same like that. So we can rewrite square root of 92 as 2 square root of 23. Let's do that. So here we have 6 plus minus square root, square root of 92 is that. 2 square root of 23 all over 4. Okay. So we simplify the square root and now we see that we have 6 and a 2 on the top. So 6 plus or minus 2 square root of 23. We can factor out the 2 on the top. And it looks like, open the parentheses, have a 2 open the parentheses. Originally we have 6, but I factor out a 2. So we have 3, still have the plus or minus, and the 2 times square root of 23. The 2 is out already, so we have square root of 23. You have to factor things out first, and see how the 2 on the outside and a 4 on the bottom. I can reduce a 2 and a 4. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice. So the final answer looks like we have um, 3 plus or minus square root of 23. 3 plus or minus square root of 23. And on the denominator, we have a 2 over 2, like this. So this right here will be my final answer, will be my uh, simplified answer. And now, I would like to show you guys how to use this calculator to um, check the answer for us. Not to do the question for you guys, all right? After I finish all the you know, computation, it would be nice to use the calculator to check our work for us. Um, one thing I can point out is, um, for square root of 92, okay, I can just uh, I can just show you this is a square root button. I can just hit square root of 92, and I can get 2 square root of 23 right away. And that's what we got right here. Okay. 
However, this calculator does a lot more than just that. Okay, so turn on the calculator, go to mode, and we are going to go to number 5 for equation. And notice that number 3 right here. We have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And that's exactly what we want for the quadratic formula. So we will choose number 3. And you see that right here, this is the way that the calculator asks you for the value of a, b, and c. Okay. So for a, we did that, which is 2. I just need to enter that right here into the calculator. So enter 2 for a equal, and b is negative 6 equal, and c is negative 7 equal, and then one more equal. You see the first answer? So the first x value is 3, square, it's 3 plus square root of 23 over 2. If you press down, the second answer is 3 minus square root of 23 over 2. And that's exactly what we mean by 3 plus or minus square root of 23 all over 2, just like that. So we now, so we now know that we got these questions right. And before I go, I will show you something very important. As you can see, we still have x1 is equal to this number. You have to get out of the quadratic equation mode. To do that, press mode, choose number 1. This is how you can get back to the normal place to do the normal computations. That's it.